Hello everyone, here is a new video. My name is Vlad and as you know, I'm building my RV-10 airplane. Well, in today's video, I would like to talk a little bit about the ballistic parachute systems. So basically the safety systems for the airplanes. Uh, I'm currently working on my fuselage, which is well, kind of ready, not ready. And it was a time for me uh, during the summer to think about the ballistic system which I'm planning to install because basically my airplane uh, is planned to be equipped with my own avionics and uh, I have lots of plans for this airplane but most important I'm planning to fly my family in this airplane and uh, yeah I want to be like safe as much as possible from all sides so I did some research online, I was in contact with di different people and um, I was researching my options about the ballistic parachute system. And um, finally after investigating everything I came and conclude that there are three possible options which I would like to share with you in this video. And uh, yeah, well, let's talk one by one. So the first company is a Ballistic Recovery Systems Inc. or BRS, which is located in the city of St. Paul, Minnesota. That company was invented, I guess, by the Russian-speaking guy maybe, because his last name is Popov, which is very common to Russians. Anyway, it happened in early 1980s, in early 80s, like 1980, when that guy, he survived after the, um, basically, crush, about 300. 300 feet altitude and uh, he decided to invent the parachute system which will let airplanes safely land onto the ground so in 1980 company was founded in 1982 they designed the first shoot for the light aircrafts they released it on the market so basically this company is well quite old right so it's like over 40 years old company so they have a good experience and at the end of the last century in 1998 they um, had the agreement with the company Cirrus and they became the official uh, partner with that company by providing them with the parachute systems so that's called CAPS caps and as you know I'm sure anyone who watching the news you definitely saw the news when the Cirrus airplane was landing under the chute and it's not the only case like recent scenario when two airplanes actually collided in the air and uh, thanks God everyone survived one was the Cirrus who landed under, under the chute and another was other airplane so this company is very like professional in their products they supply their BRS chutes not only to Cirrus but to many many certified airplanes like I know this they have a production line for example for Cessna and uh, yeah that my first company I was researching about and what's interesting this company released official kit for the RV-10 so yeah it's it's not cheap I would say it's expensive I mean if you have the open checkbook and can easily sign off the 25,000 US dollars, you're gonna get that system. So that's about the price of the system. But, well, you're paying for the quality. Obviously, you're paying for the, not for the quality, you're paying for the experience and for all that engineering mind which is behind that. It is expensive. It is, someone would say, very expensive. Someone would say, well, you're paying for safety. Uh, so that's the first system. Yeah, this company offers uh, the, um, parachute system for the RV-10 airplane, not only RV-10, also for different RV models and there are uh, numbers of successful installation of that uh, system in RVs. I know the at least a few in the United States who installed BRS in their RVs and already flying with that and not only in US, in Europe, like recently there was an airplane for sale in uh, I think Lithuania, RV-10 with, uh, with BRS system installed on board. So that was my first option. I reviewed their installation manual. It's quite clear 
very well written, everything is explained, and uh, yeah, I like that. The only here, the showstopper for me is the price. So BRS uh, shoot system for RV10 is option number one, if you're willing to go with that. The way how the chute is deployed is basically it's a solid fuel rocket which ejects, jumps out of the airplane and deploys, deploys the parachute system and basically the parachute opens after that. So you, your airplane obviously have to have certain speed for the air uh, parachute to open to deploy. So that's how it works, this system. If you need more details, you obviously are more than welcome to visit their website and uh, download their manual and read about it. Um, that's interesting solution for RV10 uh, drivers. I haven't heard about any RV10 BRS system deployments, like use in the air, I haven't heard. Well, obviously that this was out of my price range for the BRS, so I decided to keep researching. And um, uh, I'm Russian by my nationality, I was born in Russia, and uh, obviously I um, watch the, and read the forums and uh, in contact with the pilots from both uh, North America, like Canada, US, Mexico, and also from Russia. And uh, in Russia, I, um, one day I was attracted by the information that there is other company who produce the, um, those uh, ballistic parachute systems. Even, not even like that, but I, I was watching someone closely who was building the RV-10 project in Russia. I was in contact with that person. And at some point I saw that they are in installing some sort of the ballistic chute system. So I was interested, what kind of system is that, where it's manufactured. And I found another company which is located in Russia and it's called MVEN, MVEN. That company was uh, founded in 1990s, uh, I guess at the point when Soviet Union collapsed. And from that point that company was focused on the manufacturing of the ballistic recovery uh, systems. Well, let's call it like that. I know that BRS is the trademark of the other company, but let's call it like their recovery parachute systems. They were focused on that manufacturing. Uh, I got in touch with them. So first of all, I obtained some more information about installation from the installer, like from the guy in Russia who was installing that. And after that, I contacted directly with the company. I, um, well, it was easier for me because there is no language barrier for me. I, I speak uh, fluent Russian. So I uh, spoke with them and during conversations I obtained some information, some technical documentation on their system. So in short, this company uh, was founded in 1990, they were focused on uh, manufacturing of the uh, uh, safety like recovery parachute systems for the light airplanes and for not only for light airplanes, for helicopters as well. Uh, they were installing it all over the Russia, like lots of installation there, and not only Russia, but also the Kazakhstan, the Ukraine, and many other um, countries around. Um, they have the, they don't have a specific model for the RV-10. Like those models, uh, shoot models are more like the weight of the airplane, speed, maximum speed, all that. Stuff. So it's it's uh, it's a little bit different. Like the parachute recovery system is not designed for a particular airplane, but basically it's designed for specific specs, like the speed of deployment, the uh, weight of the airplane, and after that you just basically find the correct one for your airplane. So that system, well, that cost a little bit over. 10, let's see, 12,000 uh, US dollars. Uh, that system is also similar system to BRS in terms of similarity, in terms of it's a chute which opens over the airplane and obviously let your airplane to land safely. There is at least one successful installation of this system into RV10, which I know, which I have access to the pictures and videos and documentation from. Uh, there is a big difference between how that system is deployed and that difference makes a sense. So just to explain the BRS system, the first candidate BRS system is basically the rocket with a solid fuel which flies out of the airplane. I'm not professional so 
for, please forgive me about that I'm just explaining it on my hands like uh, so it flies out of the airplane it basically hangs the chute which opens because of the um, air of the because the airplane is still moving on under certain speeds so like that force of the air opens the chute and you landing under the chute so you're no longer in control of your airplane but basically you will land where you will land the system manufactured in russia uh, has a little bit different deployment principle it's more like the pyrotechnic pyro like pyro load so it's basically like a little bomb not bomb little the little something pyrotechnic like the uh, bomb let's call it like that which deploys inside of the airplane and which like in this case the parachute is like projected so like you have a bullet you have like the uh, bullet so you basically uh, as soon as uh, that pyrotechnic load burns very quick which process it creates the excessive pressure of the gases which basically throws out the chute system out of the airplane and it opens up after that and that's a big difference why because in order to install the russian event system in rv10 the installer and he's by the way um, like mechanic aviation mechanic structural engineer mechanic in, from russia he had to reinforce the flooring under the uh, so basically the baggage flooring here to reinforce it so basically the load the force is about three ton on the flooring it's a, for a single moment but still it's a load right uh, before that projectile goes out with the parachute system opens up and everything so basically what's happened here is you have to reinforce your flooring a lot like the that guy he had to reinforce it like with additional ribs all over there just I don't know if it was calculated somehow I guess of course obviously yes it has to be calculated for that load because it's a it's a significant load otherwise I would say it's the same system uh, important moment to say that all those parachute systems have very specific but very critical parameters such as how fast and at what minimum altitude it can open up it's very important obviously because um, how fast it opens obviously explains how fast it will be uh, feed with the air so the chute can work fully work and hold your airplane obviously that influence the altitude you can deploy it at and also of course maximum speed at, w at which you can deploy the chute so the second candidate as I said it's a M van M van Russian company who are located in the city of Kazan in uh, Russia and yes they sell to US they sell to various countries all over the world their, their systems you can also visit their website and uh, check and finally my third candidate which well unfortunately which didn't work out for me but maybe it's just my experience so that's company called GRS so GRS and that company is located in Czech Republic in Europe well that's also interesting I found that company online I was researching the options to install and uh, yeah I found that company I found their website well it's quite interesting website lots of information there uh, about their deployment their systems are certified uh, s more similar to BRS than MVN because of the way of the deployment but about this is later so that company GRS was also founded in the beginning of 80s so 1980 something 1982 1983 and they also were focused on the uh, recovery systems uh, recovery parachute systems for the light aviation and i must say that i know the they supplying at least they used to supply many uh, manufacturers across the europe who manufactures the small airplanes so for example there is a company in ukraine which is aeropract is very interesting um, they manufacture very interesting airplanes and I know they are installing their uh, their chute systems and not only there are lots of other examples where they installing so obviously I was attempting to contact that GRS company in Czech Republic but they never replied to me at first I uh, checked their list of dealers 
I found that they have two dealers in the United States. The first dealer was a flying, sport flying shop in California. I contacted with them, but lady on the phone told me that, well, give me your phone number, we will call you back. They never called me back. I called to that sport flying shop from California again and asked, like, maybe someone can help me to be in touch. I'm interested. She said, no just get, give me your phone number again no one called so I gave up so probably sport flying shop that didn't want my business the second I found the dealer another dealer which is obviously the second one it's a sport air US and those guys are uh, I guess they are in Arkansas Little Rock Arkansas I spoke with a bill uh, who is I think owner of that business uh, he um, like he was interested to help me he started to be in touch with the GRS company, like to basically transmit my information. But you know, I was surprised that, I mean, usually I deal with many businesses because I, I run two businesses, I deal with many businesses. And usually like when you send an email to someone or when you try to get in touch, if they really want your business, they, they reply like a day or two, right? So it, it took like three or four weeks to get the first response. Uh, and I asked Bill about like if it's something normal he said well Czech guys are very slow extremely slow super slow and long story short it took me like three or four three months and during this period of three months I was trying to contact with Bill asking like okay can they give me a price for the system can I have like some specs during those three months all what I received is a small piece of paper I mean A4 size saying that we recommend this shoot system for your airplane. That's it, that's all, nothing else. I was trying to contact with JRS system directly. I was emailing them to company, to Czech Republic. And uh, unfortunately, it looks like they are not good on answering emails. Like it could take a month for them to answer email. And I tried because they only have a one email address. So I don't know, like, is it really bad my experience or they just don't want business or they're in bad situation in business, but I have very negative experience. I would say my first time in my life, I had such negative experience with the company who sells something, right? I mean, it's, it's uh, from other sources, I got the pricing for them. I, I, I share with you. It's about uh, also like north of like closer to $10,000 US, their system cost. Um, well, I mean, I don't know what to say, bad experience. I'm not happy with how sport flying shop handled that. They just didn't never responded to me. Um, well, Bill from Sport Air US, he was trying to help, but looks like he was just unable or maybe not interested as well. But the GRS system in um, in Czech Republic, well, I mean, shame on you guys. Sorry to say that, but it's not the way you handle business. I mean, either you say you don't want business or just don't handle like that because that really a negative part. Uh, from the positive part, their GRS systems are actually very interesting because they have this fastest uh, open time, like for the shoot. I was surprised. I, I did compression between BRS and GRS just out of curiosity because BRS and GRS, they use the same principle. Like Russian and Van, they use that pyrotechnic load to eject while GRS and BRS doesn't require any floor reinforcement ex except like the bottom plate which will hold uh, the uh, two back straps from the parachute um, but GRS system actually opens up just very quick and their website have interesting video about that like someone was trying to land could not land I don't know if it was gear collapse or uh, he was just just couldn't land just was disappointed scared it was windy i don't know what's happened but there is a video where small ultralight airplane actually well he was on short final i don't know 100 feet 50 feet he deployed the chute and he safely land so i was like wow that's interesting so their systems are very interesting to look at maybe you're gonna be more lucky than myself contacting with bill or with Sport Flying Shop from California and or, or Bill Canino from Sport Air USA but maybe you're gonna be more luckier and get more information share with me because I was unable to get more than I got I was like willing to pay them because actually I was thinking to buy Jerry's system and I was like willing to pay them right away and get it but lack of communication and uh, well I mean 
my English skills are probably fine for writing emails. I do that for the past 20 or 30 years and uh, uh, who knows? Anyway, so that's uh, all probably for today, guys. I just shared with you my thoughts about three possible candidates for RV10 ballistic shoot system. I'm sure that I didn't cover everything because first of all, the history of each company is unique individual and if you just read, but why to repeat what is already written, right? You can open Wikipedia or you can just directly go to each of three companies' website and read their history, review their videos and all three companies have some interesting videos and demonstrations on the website. It's interesting. So if you considering, like myself, I'm still considering, if you're considering of getting the parachute system to your airplane, check those three. I'm sure you probably already checked BRS because BRS is our US guys here next to us and uh, uh, they're most well known probably in the whole world. But there are two others, right? There is Invent, there is GRS and I'm sure there are other companies. I'm sure. But here is a trick because not all companies are able to offer the shoot system for heavy airplane. Like our RV10s are well considered heavy, right? For passenger. We're talking about 2700, 2800 maybe. So that's, that's a weight. Like, I mean, comparing to 16, 1700 airplane, it's a big difference for the shoot system. Share with me your comments and I'll be happy to answer your questions if you have more and watch my other videos. And I'm continuing to work on my RV10 build. Have a good one, everyone. Bye.